Today on the table I have the Harridge single action 22 and the Ruger single action 22. Now because these two firearms are so drastically different, it wouldn't have been fair to do a price split between these two. So I went with a Ruger that looked identical to this one and you'd be looking at about a $300 price split. The Ruger being about $300 more than the Heritage. The actual finish on the metal and how the metal is, like the Ruger, the metal actually feels smooth. Very nice crafted. Heritage, not so much. You can feel that it's been casted. You can feel the lathe marks on the barrel. Looks pretty terrible. Even the spring that they use, it's like a spring you'd find in like a pellet gun. That's hard to explain. Like, you can just tell it's cheap. The Ruger spring. That's how a spring should sound. Very high quality spring. All the parts on this are very high quality. On the Heritage, the grips, they don't fit well at all. I mean, they're sticking over in all different places. They don't line up right. The Ruger's fit much better. Line up great. There's only one spot right there where the grip goes over the metal just a little bit. The wood in the grip. Heritage don't look that bad. Ruger does look better though. And it's also got the logo in it. That looks really cool. The hammer. That's what your heritage looks like. This is what your Ruger looks like. You can definitely tell the Ruger just uses a better steel. But is the Ruger really worth that extra $300? Now I wouldn't actually go with this particular Ruger just because of the sights. You can't really feel like you're making a move on the dark tower with these sights. You want something a little bit more traditional. The man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. But the heritage does have a huge downfall. This big nasty safety. And the firing pin, if the safety isn't on, the hammer's actually resting on the firing pin, so you could go like this and set the firearm off. Now, you could always leave an empty cylinder, but for whatever reason, in a 22 or even a 22 mag, because both these are 22 mag conversions, I just won't leave an empty cylinder. It's, I don't know. With like a 45 long Colt or a 357, it's a little bit different. And I will leave an empty cylinder, but I just can't do it on a 22. The Ruger uses a transfer bar system, so when you pull the trigger, it puts the bar in front of the firing pin. So when the hammer comes down, hits the firing pin. But now if the trigger's released, it moves the bar out of the way. So you can run all these cylinders full without a problem. Now the load gate also works different. The Ruger, when you open the load gate right there, it freezes the cylinder. The, uh, the heritage is a little bit more traditional, so you got to go to a half cock, and that frees the cylinder. Now, what would I pick? The Ruger or the Traditions? To be honest, the price that these Rugers cost, I wouldn't get it in a 22. I just wouldn't. For that much cost, I'd wind up getting like a Cimarron or a Traditions in 357 or 45 Long Colt just feels a little bit better to me i mean yeah the cost of the ammo could be an issue but now they even offer cylinders so you can shoot nine mil inside your 357 or you can shoot 45 acp inside your 45 long colt which will bring that cost of ammo down plus on if you go with a 45 long colt you could also load up black powder rounds and get the huge puff of smoke make the experience a little bit better the ruger is a far superior firearm but the Heritage, because of the cost and that this is in a 22, I would probably just deal with this safety. Now my dad has one of these that he's had pretty good luck with so far. He hasn't had any real problems other than when he forgets to take off the safety because it's just not something you expect with this style of handgun. You could remove it and just go in half cock. I mean, that is always a choice. But yeah, and 22, without a doubt, I would go the Heritage just because of the cost. But thanks for watching. Leave in the comments below which one you would pick and why.